welcome to my kitchen. This is Fruit Adventure Boris, and this is the bar. So we have the fruits today, Rolinia, mango, papaya. This is from the land, this is from the market. We grow these too. So, yeah, let's serve them up. We have my bar ready here. Let's get the knife and have a look at this beautiful fruit. Fresh from the Amazon rainforest of Ecuador. Let's take a little taste test. Mmm. Perfect. Sweet. And a little hint of tartness. Very creamy and juicy. Enjoy the fruit. And this is my bar, so I made this from the wood. I don't know if you can see the structure, I'm sure you've seen in previous videos. We've got the sink to wash up, water from the spring, and uh, today harvested a rack of bananas on that side. I have a panning over there, there's my cabin, and the bananas hanging. And you can see the other bananas from the land below there. I'm getting my smoothie making machine, or known as a blender coming in the mail soon, next week. <laughs> this good? Yeah. So here's Kaylee testing out the Rolinia. Mm. How's that? Mm. Tasty? Very nice. I made here this bench that's kind of flat enough to sit low, kind of higher from the ground because it's an earth floor and the community area is just a few steps that way about two minute walk here in the Amazon rainforest show the mountains, I have a bit of shade cloth some jackfruit growing there right near the public path it's going Okay then, so this is another fruit adventure <laughs> with the Nyaku, which is the best fruit of the Amazon jungle and uh, probably the last ones of the season for this year it was a good season, not the best, but pretty decent so the way to eat it, if you want to come closer, have a look so first you have to make sure it's ripe, which is like this green part will be able to be pressed in with a nail and well I'm convinced that it's ripe so I like to cut it all the way around like this do not break the seed because it's so precious and we want to plant more of them and this is how it looks looking good oh, let's smell it okay I know how it smells so you smell it mm. what does the taste smell I mean smells like it smells fatty fatty mm. <laughs> this one has like a fruity aroma but it's yeah and then I have a small spoon so to be able to get into it and it's yeah. kind of thick and creamy yeah the color looks a bit different too yeah there are different varieties maybe it could even take in another day but it's pretty ripe pastel orange yeah color. and this is what you eat Yummy. The most beautiful <laughs> fruit. <laughs> you never tried? No, no, no. I've never tried it. Never tried it. May I try? Yeah. Let's start with Kaylee, I guess. Taste it, tell us what you think. Sampler. There you go. Oh, mm. <laughs> it's precious, this fruit. Wow. With the taste. It's like avocado, but oh. more. More. Uh, I don't know, this flavor is good. This part is good too. Less bad. Okay, so next one is a pie. This is called a pie, A P A I. I can link to the all the uh, names anyway. So this is um, another fatty fruit of the Amazon. I like to peel them first. So let's see. This is not the perfectly in season this part obviously rotted away a little but this looks okay the bottom orange part so it, it might be related to Nyaku not totally sure but the locals here are uh, big fans of it too 
but they don't actually sell this in the market, which is interesting. So it's more like super local. And uh, yeah, so it's also something like that. You cut it, and then this is much denser. Let's see how the taste, the flavor. I mean, let's start with the smell. A kind of neutral. What do you smell? <laughs> I'm not good at describing it. Not much. It's crunchy. I'll give you a piece to try as well. Try a little one. And then I'll give one to Kaylee. <laughs> Sometimes they're a little cheesier and softer. Uh, it depends on the variety, depends on how mm. ripe they are. It's really bitter. All yeah, right. This one's for quite bitter. I think it's still too young, no? Um, it's well, the right age. Started rotting, though. Yeah, it fell off early, maybe. So it's not as good. This is like the poor man's in Yaku. So, yeah. mm -hmm. It fell, it fell off the tree too early. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sometimes it happens with the not so healthy. And then inside is pretty interesting to see the like the way it looks. It's oh, got so it's a pretty tree. It's got really nice big leaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the seed is nice. It's it's got these ridges, so I think it's interesting, but mm. it's not the most edible. It can also be cooked and then it kind of tastes a bit uh, better. Yeah, maybe it's a little starchy. Yeah, starchy. Sometimes it tastes more like Fine. carrot. <laughs> other times it's... Not <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, if you're okay with some bitterness, I'm kind of okay with it, so... Mm. Okay. It's got like fatty mm. juiciness to it. So here's another fruit. It looks a lot like snake fruit. It's called acho, acho. the locals, or aguaje. And what does it taste like? It tastes cheesy and fatty and salty. And Kitty wants some. Kitty? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good taste. It looks nice. The middle has the seed. It looks like this. And the kitties want some. <laughs>